Alright, hello everyone, my name is Shep and welcome back to the Cursed Circus. Today we have that boy in the background. <laughs> oh shit, what up? And yeah, he's gonna be here for the for this episode at the very least. So let's see if we can have some fun. So we're gonna be playing a best of three against Silac. We haven't played against him in quite a while. So I am a little bit preoccupied. We are playing with the twin bosses today, so this doesn't, doesn't look like a terrible matchup, but... Just like yesterday, we're playing against Double Stun once more, so here we go, into the Double Stun matchup, right? Just the usual stuff. Well, we already get hit by a stunning blow, which is sad, I really wanted to drop a Bullock, but uh, it's not the end of the world. Now, what should we do first? I think we're definitely gonna need Battle Ballot, hit that Shieldbreaker Jester Duo, so I'm just gonna drop it and uh, see where we take it from there. I do have the right abilities on the Jester, I had to change out the Inspiring Tune from yesterday's episode into the Dirk Sap. I was kind of afraid <laughs> I might have forgot Finale or something, but no, it's still here, so we're, we're perfectly okay. I'm sure Sonic would just let me restart if that had happened. Now, this Arbus is gonna absolutely kick our ass, because we might have a lot of protection, but against the DOT it won't really matter all that much. But before that happens, I'm gonna start going for these Reign of Stars and just start applying Ah, just start applying some bleeds to the enemy backline. Oh my god, it happens again. Oh, this is like a repeat of yesterday. My character is getting stunned and my stuns failing on... I mean, my bleeds failing on my opponent. But we're not gonna despair just yet. We're actually gonna drop a bolster here, which is gonna give us an extra... An extra 10 dodge on the Chester. So right now he's pretty much impossible to stun with that 65 dodge. Pretty much impossible to stun. Okay, there we go. Fine. One one dodge on this Chester. Now the puncture is very unlikely to have a dodge happen, right? But it's perfectly okay. They actually have Fang Talisman and Crushed Hemlock. I really like this synergy. This is a really cool team that Silic has here. As well as with that finale pressure. This is quite an interesting setup. I hadn't seen it before. Now they're gonna drop the battle battle now just to kind of annoy me here on the Jester. But we already have accuracy, so we're gonna drop a Holy Lance onto that uh, enemy Jester and just start going for some pressure. I can drop a solo, and after I drop a solo, it's gonna be pretty difficult for them to stop the finale because I'm gonna have 65 dodge. And they are gonna have 135 accuracy with the stun, so they have to jam an accuracy, but hopefully it doesn't work all that well for them. I'm gonna go for the stun here, which thankfully fails, that's absolutely lovely. And I can go for a solo right now if I really, really want to. Uh, I could go for a Reign of Sorrows first. If I don't, I'm gonna get stunned. Yeah, let's go for a Reign of Sorrows and hopefully apply a bleed on this Chester. Oh, come on! <laughs> Curse of the Spiked Bat! Oh, my Crimson Hook never works! What is this? It's a 90% chance of getting a bleed. The thing is, if I get it, Chester's bleeding down to zero. I finale him. All good. But that's just not happening here and it's seriously unsettling. Okay. Okay, what do we want to do? I will have 11 to 20 damage, so I'm gonna drop a solo here. They're gonna be forced to either stun me, or at the start of next round stun me, or like, heal the Jess, or whatever they want to do. They can do a lot of things here to just prevent the finale from getting a kill. But, you know, I'm not sure what they want to do. They, that could definitely fail, but it doesn't, sadly. I am guard broken, so I can't even go for, <laughs> for a guard on that if I want to. But we're just gonna start dropping Sabellos, kind of try reducing their damage. Sadly, we don't get it on the Shieldbreaker, which was probably the most important character to get it on, because Pierce is really the only ability my opponent has that just hurts, hurts. All the other abilities kind of hurt, but Pierce really hurts with that Fang Talisman. It does have minus damage mod, but it also has armor piercing, so all my armor is going to be essentially worthless. I'm going to go for a stun here. Can can you can they get another? Oh, that's so lovely. You get another stun resist. That is unbelievable amounts of lovely. Well, I mean, I think that means another Reign of Sorrows, right? Yes, okay, resist this bleed. God damn, resist that, yeah. Now, with these very lucky two stun resists, which were both a 15% chance, I've just managed to apply the bleed on my enemy backline, and now things look very, very rough for them. Because my Jester is still kind of far from dying. Kind of, he's at 21 HP. So unless this Pierce is a crit, I sh Unless this Pierce is a crit, I should be okay, right? Uh, why do I predict the future sometimes? I don't know. I just I just predict things way too well, and uh, oh, that's nice. 
and it really sucks, you know, it really freaking sucks. I have 65 dodge on here. Of course, they have to battle out, so it's very unlikely that I do get a dodge. No, 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 not very unlikely, but it's, um, it's not like... Don't look at this like 65 dodge, look at it just like normal dodge, just like 40 or whatever, because of that battle balance. So they have, they have definitely decent hit chances on me. You know what I can do? I can actually guard here. Oh, that's a miss, that's so good. I can actually guard here to prevent them from stunning me again. And I think I'm gonna... I mean, the problem is if I do that they will just stun my men at arms instead, and then next round they stun my jester. So guarding here doesn't actually make as much sense as I'd first thought, so I'm instead gonna drop a battle debuff and prevent them from getting a finale off on my flash one somehow. That could happen, that would be very unfortunate, so I'm, I'm just gonna stop that from, from ever happening here. They can't stun me twice on the jester, I mean, I'm already stunned, so it doesn't really do too much, so instead they're just gonna drop a Divine Grace. Uh, do they have enough damage for a finale? With two bell debuffs, it's quite unlikely that they have enough damage for a finale. They should be doing like 9 to 16 on that, so if they go for it, uh, it's it's risky. Do they have a confirmed hit chance? Yeah, they dropped battle battle, they have a confirmed hit chance. It's definitely risky to go for the finale on my dresser right now. If they don't do it, I will drop a finale on someone. I have two crit buffs, you know, you know me, I like J-Man, I go for the crit finales. And they go for the, they go for their shield action. Does that crit? Okay, it does crit, but it doesn't bring me down to zero. So I have a finale somewhere. And you know what? I'm gonna go for it. 11 to 20, nice crit chances, and I roll for 11. Damn. Damn, damn, damn. Well, that makes things very, very complicated for me. I definitely had to do that. If I didn't, I'd just get finaled and whatever. There was really no chance for me to to do anything else. I was really hoping that would do enough, you know, it was more than a 50-50 of getting it. Probably like a 70% chance of just getting the kill, because of the solo and the battle battle, the crit chance on it was very, very good, but, you know, sometimes you get them, sometimes you don't, so the vessel is gonna stay alive. She's not in a comfortable spot, but she's still alive. Uh, my opponent's just gonna start dropping harvests here, that does make sense. Uh, it does apply to Polito on my Crusader as well, jeez. I will drop just a, a bell here because I don't want to waste too much stress. I feel like the vessel is going to heal. So let's just do this. Get an affliction on that chest. Or maybe the affliction can save us here. They go irrational. That's quite good. Yeah, irrational is probably the best for me here. They can go for an act out finale on my jester right now or something of the likes. That would be that would be quite fun. Are they going to holy lance my crusader? I thought they do enough damage to these characters with three bell debuffs. I really freaking doubt it. Yeah. They're gonna do this. They actually roll for, for a decent amount, actually. And I am not dropping to zero. So I will just drop a Zealous here. I could drop a Bulwark, but at this point I feel like it's too late. I'm just gonna start dropping Zealouses. So let's do that. And yeah, that's definitely shredding through the enemy front line. If you just get a few Zealouses off, the enemy front line is gonna suffer. Uh, they do have Sacred Blade, so that could make the match horrible for us, but hopefully that's not the situation here. So they go hopeless, which is uh, hopefully pretty good for me. That is a move forward, which yes, is pretty good for me. That puts the Jester one turn away from Finale. And they actually go for a Divine Grace on themselves, which is an interesting play, but I guess they, they want to stay alive, right? That just means another Ring of Sorrows, and that's really hurting the enemy Jester now. Almost dropping down to zero again, and also taking a lot of strength. Vestal's dropping down to zero in two rounds, so that's very, very good for me. We're getting a lot of pressure on their back line. And the front line is getting close to fleet as well. Resist, resist, resist! Damn, idiot. He did not resist that. I will just click here and heal, I think. Uh, that's probably the best thing I could do at this point. I'm probably gonna get stunned here somewhere, but... Yeah, I'm just gonna drop a heal and just uh, keep playing. I do get a crit heal on myself, so that could come in clutch if they try hitting my, my flagellant here or something like that. If I were my opponent, I would probably just try moving forward with the Jester after getting a stun on the Flagellant and just try getting a finale off on him. Maybe something like that would be would be their best play. It's definitely a rough spot they've been put in with that irrational and ability buffs that have been applied. Yuri is really helping us out here, so that's quite good. We're probably gonna get an affliction on the Shieldbreaker as well. They go for a stun on me here, it's a 95% chance, so they, they do get it, of course. And now I will drop another bellow, I think. Yeah, let's do one more bellow. It's gonna do four debuffs on the Crusader, by the way. Yeah, this is a confirmed chance of getting that affliction. My hit chance is quite good. 
And that's... I don't think... No, I didn't appoint the debuff on the chest, which is sad, but... Oh, it's really sad, yeah. I guess it's an 80, we're not gonna get it every single time. This Crusader should be absolutely tickling right now. He's minus 80% damage, he should not do 60, my Jesse with a stun. Or whatever he wants to do here. He's probably doing like, I don't know, like 2? Two? 2 damage? 3 maybe, if he's lucky? Let's see. Yeah, he does 3 damage on me. He does get the hit though, which is fortunate for him. I'm just gonna pass, pass, and they're probably gonna drop a Dirk Stab on the, on the Jester here, just to bring me down to 0. After they do that though, their characters are dropping. They might move forward. I don't know, this is a rough situation we're both in. I feel like this match is going to be decided on the death blows, like lucky death blows, because uh, Salak doesn't actually have any good death blow chance here. And it's also going to be decided on the, uh, on the virtue or affliction that this Crusader gets. That's really going to impact this match. Oh, I'm dropping down to zero already. Really wish I had like a... Just drop down to zero with the flash and heal everyone up, and just drop a, and just drop a big redeem or whatever. That would be so freaking good here. But yeah, I don't have that. If they actually killed my flash right now and I healed all the other characters, that, that could actually be pretty good. So yeah, maybe, maybe maybe take them out. You know, take them out. Put with a crit so I can start dropping thalases again. That would be pretty fun. Let's see. They're gonna click their crusader. They're gonna go for a zealous here. Do they get the kill? Wow, twenty five percent death blow. And they take it. Okay, that's not very cool, bro. But such is the way of the Butcher Circus. I'm just gonna... If I click here, they pierce me. I mean, they puncture me. They shouldn't do enough damage with a puncture, though. With three Bell debuffs, Fearful and Protection on my side, I don't think there's any way they actually do enough damage with a, with a puncture. So, yeah, a little bit of stress. Is that too much? Let's see, do they go Virtuous? Fuck! They, they go Courageous. Oh my god, the worst fucking virtue! I oh, I hate this game so much. Oh, this is the best of three we're doing. I'm gonna lose the first match. You do zero damage, yeah. I hate this so much. Oh my god, they get courageous. Oh my fucking god. I'm sorry for swearing, but I cannot handle that courageous. It's so unbelievably annoying. It shouldn't even exist. Oh my god, okay. Not all is over though, the rest of their team is freaking dying. If this is a 3v1, I can definitely still win. Hopeless pass, hopeless, hopeless. Damn it! Okay, hopeless doesn't do anything bad. I, I still have Reign of Sorrows after this, you can't stop it. You can go for a stun, but it, the Silac doesn't go for a 45% stun. That's not the Silac play. Wait, does he? He's thinking about it. He's actually thinking about it. Well, the problem here is that healing doesn't really get him too far, because he just gets bled again and stressed out even more. So he's definitely thinking about dropping that, uh, that stun, but Sonic doesn't really really doesn't like going for, for risky stuns like that. Stuns that are too risky, you know. So I'm gonna drop another Reign of Stars. You really wish I got a crit there somewhere, but this will have to do. And that's some definite good amounts of stress we're doing to my opponent here. Okay. Okay, not all is over. They're gonna drop... If they drop a Dirk Sam on my Flagellant, I can just drop a Redeem and then it's over, I think. I'll just have way too much HP. I wonder who I would Redeem here, Men at Arms or Crusader? Probably the Men at Arms with the Bellows, right? But Crusader can just heal himself if he wants, <laughs> I guess. Okay, they are... Uh, oh, that's a lot of damage buffs on there. Oh, that's a lot of damage buffs. I could go for a Holy Lance, maybe get the kill, but that's quite unlikely. Oh, I have a wonderful play. I have a guard here on the flagellant, but I think they might do damage, so I don't want to go for it, you know. Do I think they're gonna do 15? I find it unlikely, but I'll drop a bellow, and then they definitely shouldn't do 15. If there's an act out, the Jester might just die from stress. Is it enough? No, there was an act out put on the Crusader, not the Jester. Oh god, he might have enough damage here. Irrational, come on. <laughs> no, Irrational doesn't do anything. Do I have 30 prot? No, I only have 10! What? They go for finale on the Crusader? I guess I guess their damage rolls really weren't enough on the Flash to, to just guarantee it. I mean, it makes sense because now dealing with that Crusader is going to be pretty much hopeless for me. But this should be kind of a double kill here, so... Yeah, that's a double kill. Okay, good. Good, but not very good, because now I have to handle 1v2 with my flashlight, and that's a Courageous Crusader. Yeah, Courageous Crusader with two stun trinkets, so this is gonna be fun. I pretty much can't get a bleed on him, unless Crimson Hook gives me some real insane value here. But I'm probably gonna be focusing the Shieldbreaker down first. 
Okay, they are gonna focus my men arms here. I, I would move back, but I probably won't do too much. Pierce reaches all the way to the back. They go for a stun, did they get it? Yes, of course they do. Of course they do. Okay, do I click here first? If I do, they'll just stun my flange once, so I don't think so. Oh, why did she go fearful, man? Why did she go fearful? But okay, we still hit. Uh, we only do 13 stress, though. The Crimson Hook stress is kind of messed up with, uh, with the first hit, I guess. But uh, the Shieldbreaker shouldn't last too long. She might even go Serpent Sway, but if we get a few hits in, she won't last too long. Then we have Exagonites to drop on the, on the Crusader. That's what we gotta do here. No address case, that's good. And they go for Pierce, and okay, he's gone already. He didn't last too long, did he? No, not quite. There goes the Stress Seal from Courageous, that's fair. And I should have last hero standing stun resistance buff, but that doesn't exist. That's a wishful thinking for me, but I actually... Ooh, okay, that's helpful. I, I think I should be dropping down to zero here before doing a heal, right? Mm, yeah, I'm gonna take a bit of a risk here. I'm gonna drop a punish. And uh, just stress around. Okay, this time we get the stress on it. I really need a crit, by the way. If I get a crit, she just dies. That's really what we need here. She's at this door now. I wonder if she drops the nether skits or she goes fire. Eh, neither. She goes fearful path. Good. And this one goes for a stun for sure. So they're gonna go for it. They do 7 damage, so they might not get a stun. Ah, damn it. Damn, damn, damn. Okay, this door. I'm gonna get stun resistance after this, though. So they have 2 hits on me. And uh, hopefully I survive and then I can drop an exsanguinate and just keep on going from there. Maybe Fearful gets another pass, that would be so lovely. Really wish I got a crit somewhere, then I'd have more bleed chance, bleed the crusade or something like that. Shieldbreaker is definitely gonna go for the hit, I, I feel. I mean, at least I would. I would go for a 10 and then a 25. No, no way I don't. But let's see what they wanna do. They actually drop a Serpent Sway, that's so surprising. That is very surprising. It does make sense, gives her, gives her dodge. Can you stop? That's already 10 stress healed, not to mention the earlier 5 stress just from getting the Virtue. They're gonna go for the stun, did they get to 15? No, there's no justice. <laughs> I got two 15s earlier down the match, if you remember. But yeah, now let's go for the Exsanguinate. We have to go on this Crusader, and do I get to bleed? No, I don't. Yeah, it would be nice if Crimson Hook gave me a bleed there, but you know, it's very unlikely, it's only a 20%. So Fearful here shouldn't do too much damage. Uh, hopefully, Adder's Kiss, I mean the Blight is gonna hurt. Wow, 8 damage from a Fearful. Damn, that's insane actually. And uh, that's another stress heal over there. Can I oh my god, here comes another stun. Yeah, I'm so screwed. You really just can't win against Courageous Crusader, just BS, absolute BS. Oh well, I wasn't able to drop any redeems on my characters because this team doesn't really have reclaim, so I couldn't bring my flashlight down to a low enough amount of HP to do it. So without without two characters, this becomes a very, very difficult match to win. So yeah, I really don't see myself winning this anymore. I need to get <laughs> I need to get very lucky with stun resistances, <laughs> but no, it's not gonna happen. They're gonna go for it, and uh, even though they don't get the stun, I definitely have to jump an exsanguinate here. I'm probably just dead. Or maybe if I get a crit punish, let's go. Let's go lucky. Let's get a crit punish here. We get crit punish. It's not even enough because of the earlier stress heals. That's unbelievable. Yeah, and this is just... Uh, is it over? I mean, I still have two exsanguinates. If I can survive enough death blows, if I can resist the stun and then drop an exsanguinate crit bleed on the crusader, maybe I can still win. You don't surrender with two exsangs here. But, yeah. Fearful doesn't pass, so I'm not sure if I see it. Yeah, I really don't see it. Well, GG's to my opponent, and let's go on for a match number two. Alright, and here we go for a match number two against Silek of this best of three. So we are down one match, so we have to win two if we still want to win. And this time we are playing against... Oh, I know this team! This is that that one team where you just try to get a kill very, very early. Then you just try to dominate with the stuns and the heals from the fast. So is, this is a pretty good team that uh, Silek has here. Kind of an interesting one to see as well. He's, he's definitely playing some interesting teams today. Well, I'm playing more of a of a try-hard team here. I am gonna get stunned immediately, which is sad, but you know, such is the way of the butcher circus. I will definitely reciprocate the stun. And who do I want to reciprocate it on is my question. I might uh if I pull the Vestal here, I'm not sure if I Hmm, I'm not sure if I see the way to victory pulling the Jesser here. I'm gonna go for... It's so it's weird. No one would do this. Only I would do this. But I'm gonna drop a Caltrips first. Why? Why do you drop Caltrips? You have Mark's energy. 
Well, the reason I do it is because look at these characters, look at their HP amounts. 30, 28, if I just get a big sniper shot in, I don't even need the mark, they just die immediately. Okay, they're focusing my Crusader down. I could stun this uh, this Man here, that's probably a good play for me. I do have two stun trinkets on this Abomination, so he's doing quite a serious amount of damage with the manacles, so I'm just gonna do this and I'm gonna keep on going from there. So far that boy has not helped me out very much, but uh, maybe, maybe he starts helping me now. So here comes a Harvest, hopefully no bleeds, or... Two! Two bleeds! Not one! Two! Okay, got it. Okay, 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 I see how it is. I definitely see how it is. Two bleeds. Okay, that doesn't look too good for me. I will... I can heal here, or I can click and shoot. Which one is it? Heal or click and shoot? I'm actually gonna heal. I'm actually gonna heal the Crusader here, just stay alive for a bit, and then I'm gonna go for a stun next round, because I don't want my Crusader to get too low just yet. He can start taking some some blights, but I don't want him to start bleeding just yet. So I'm just gonna do this, and I'm gonna be happy, and I'm gonna keep playing from there. And I still want to drop a block of light, so I'm probably gonna do it because it's gonna make this Iron Man feel definitely way way weaker in, in the long run. So that will help me out quite uh, quite a bunch here. Of course, doesn't Pierce doesn't care about that, but it's okay. It's interesting that they actually have Viper Spear Tip. Gives them some needed accuracy if they don't want to drop battle valve, I guess. And it does help that other's case quite a bit. So they're gonna go for a pierce on the on the bounty hunter to get a max roll on it. Which isn't too much fun, but it's okay. I will just drop a block of light here to give myself a little bit of protection. And then we might go for a pull on the vessel and just shoot her, stun her and kill her. That might be what we what we do here. We'll see. We'll see. Depending on what their higher man does, right? Mostly depending on that. Hmm, this is a rough situation around because the, the DOT here is definitely starting to hurt. As long as they don't get close to, to getting a finale off though, they won't be able to get a kill on me too early. And if they don't get a kill too early, I will get a kill on them, which is uh, obviously very good. So they're gonna stun my abomination here, makes sense, definitely makes sense. After this, I could flare it, but uh, flare... Hmm, not sure that's the best play. Not sure if flaring here is the best play. Probably going for a pull on the vessel and just shooting her, but even then it's going to be rough because both of these bozos are going to move forward, so mm, I'm not sure about it. I could just try stunning them. Yeah, this is a rough situation we're in. Do we, do we just pull regardless? I don't think so. I'm going to I'm gonna actually flare here. I'm going to flare and I'm going to go for a stun myself. I think this is worth it. I'm gonna go for a stun, maybe on the chest or maybe on the higher man, depending on what happens here. And uh, then if they if they want to move forward with the gesture too much, I'll still pull the vessel and just take it from there, just to make sure they don't get a finale off. If they get a finale off on my bounty hunter, it's kind of over. So I don't want that to happen. So they do that. I could go for a stun here. It's a 70% chance of success. So it's not too likely. Definitely not too likely. I don't have the net here, so my my hit chances aren't that. Great. I could go for the immediate pull, but if I do that, I'll probably drop to this store after it. So I'm gonna go for the 70. It's definitely risky, but we do it. We aren't doing too much damage with the manacles. Kind of wish we were. But it's alright, it's alright, we'll manage. Now we'll go for a pull on this on this festival and we'll see how we take it from there. We're probably gonna stun her after this as well. They might do a pierce, which is gonna bring us down to zero, but they don't have any Ah, oh, they do have a finisher here. That's rough. I'll have to I'll have to heal already. Unless they go for something else. I'm not sure. I would definitely just pierce the, the bounty hunter here. That would help them out quite a bit. Hmm. What do they want to do? Are they going for something else? That's weird. That is definitely a weird play. Well they get a crit on it, so who cares? Who cares, right? You can go for weird play as long as you get crits on it. That makes sense. I'm gonna stun here, shoot and kill if I can, but they're probably gonna hit me first with a Dirk stab. They will do six times and then they're gonna go for a vendetta death blow, but I might just heal with the crusader and then after the shot I could get a kill with the come hither, that is my idea here. Hopefully it works, maybe it doesn't, but if it does work I'll be I'll be very very happy of course. I'm really surprised it didn't just go for appears. I feel like it would have been winning for them, because after I heal they can keep going for pressure and 
they're probably fine, but I guess they didn't want to do that. Very surprised you're clicking the Hireman here as well. I actually go for Wicked Slice, it doesn't do enough, which means I can just shoot their Vestal immediately, and I will. So I <laughs> did I get a mineral on this shot? Oh my god, I did the same damage with my sniper shot against the Mark as the Shieldbreaker did with her Pierce. Okay, okay, I see how it is. Yeah, this uh, this match is rough. They're gonna go for a Dirk Sam on me now. I'm gonna... Um... Oh, I fell. Uh, they fell that. That's good. I am gonna click here and go for a pull. And then I'll do a double heal with my Crusader. That's what I gotta do here. So let's do this. Let's get a crit on it, yeah? Oh my god! Not a crit, but a max roll because of the crit buff I had. <laughs> and now the vessel's actually dropping down to zero. That's really freaking good. And it's unbelievable amounts of good. I could go for a stun here. That's uh, that's an idea, but I'll just do a heal, keep both my characters alive. I still have others just sticking on me, so my crusader is going to be dropping to zero over and over and over again. But this vessel being at zero here as well is really quite uh, quite handy because sniper shot might be a kill. She only has one turn of marked up because she already skipped it with her stun, so she might do something else. If she doesn't stun my bounty hunter here, I will just take her out. So, there's uh, there's that. And if she goes for a stun on the Bounty Hunter, she doesn't have a confirmed stun chance, and if she doesn't get it, she's just gone, and then after that, I think I have... I think I have a pretty good shot at winning here, because I still have my stun available, right? So yeah, that's definitely what I'm, what I'm going for. I'm just gonna take the kill, and with that, I should... Uh, I should be winning here, I feel. Especially with Caltrops taking, they have absolutely no way of healing with, uh, with the Vestal gone. So Caltrops is really going to help us out here. These characters are already suffering from it quite quite intensely. So here comes the puncture. That's def that definitely hurts me, but uh, I will just heal it and stay quite happy, right? Just do that. I could flare, but since I'm at this store, I won't do that just yet. I could have flared immediately and then gone for the for the finishing, but and then my bounty hunter probably would have been dropped to this store anyway, so it wouldn't have made too much of a difference. Um, what should I do here? They're getting a lot of crits, but it's just, they're not too necessary, these crits that they just got, so it doesn't change too much. Should I wait for their Jester action, or should I go for a stun on someone already? Mm. Mm -mm -mm. That is the question. I'm gonna go for just a stun on the Simon. I really need to get more damage with my Abomination. He's really not doing too much. I was hoping that the damage on the Spike Chain would be helping me out quite a lot more, but... Yeah, they're gonna go for a Dirk Snap here. It's a 35. If they get it, they might win this, but they don't get it immediately, so this is uh, this is still okay for me. I'm definitely trying to go for a double heal here, but they will probably try and prevent that before that happens. Yeah, so they might drop another Dirk Snap. It's gonna be a 50-50. They only had one finisher this match, so that's rough for them. They're gonna go for it, and they do not get it, which really is quite rough. I can stun that Shield Breaker. What's, what's my stun chance? 110, it's not too likely, but I'm gonna do it anyway. I'm just gonna shoot the Jester and then he's gonna die, probably. So something like that. I'm gonna maybe even transform Rake, try doing some damage with that, and after this, this should be pretty much a win, because I, I still have two healing characters in the self-healing one, and look at this, they're just all getting slowly less tanky, and my Bounty Hunter is just here to greet them with open arms, once so they all drop to that uh, 0 HP mark, so... That is quite good for me. I might just be transform raging here, honestly. Uh, or just transform raking, because it will hurt both of them, most likely. So, yeah, that's the crit. We do get a very nice crit, and now we just have a finish him on there, most likely. They might be going for a pierce just to drop my bounty hunter down to zero, but after they do that, I just heal, everything's fine, and then I go for the finish him. And once again, everything's really quite fine. And now that we actually have a lot of damage, because we got a crit and we got a transformation buff, if I detransform and stun, I might actually do like 10 damage with the manacles. So at this point, it doesn't really matter all that much. They actually go for the Crusader, which is interesting. Uh, definitely interesting that they go for the Crusader. Well, I'm just gonna try healing, that's fine. I will drop a finish him here, that's 76, we take it, and at this point it's GG. My uh, Sonic doesn't really have a way, of, a way of saving this. I'm just gonna heal my characters, and yeah, they just can't do anything. They're, they're being stunned, they're being harassed with caltrops, and I have two healers, so there's just um, no way for, for them to win this anymore. Just the power of WD, right? Just WD doing WD things. I definitely want to see how much damage Manacles is doing now, though. With a crit buff and all that, but Sonic just surrenders, so on to match number three it is. 
Alright, and on to match number three we go, so I'm actually quite surprised here because I thought that with Silac playing Shieldbreaker twice, he wouldn't play it a third time, but no, there's a Shieldbreaker here for a third time. And I have my Immortal Musketeer team with Brass Bugle, so I'm just gonna get harassed with punctures over and over again. So, already this isn't looking too good, especially with that double stun, but at least my mana arm shouldn't get stunned. Doesn't matter too much though, because whoever I guard, there's just punctures, so yeah, my, my defensive strategies, at least in the form of guarding, aren't really gonna work at all. So they're gonna go for a stun here, I was hoping for a miss, very unlikely, but you know, there's a chance. Uh, but sadly, that's not how the Witcher Circus goes down today. So I will just start dropping Bellows here and uh, just maybe reduce their damage a little bit. Maybe I should have dropped a Bolster, actually. I could actually get a dodge here somehow. Yeah, I could have I could have gotten a dodge. Maybe I should have dropped a Bolster, just thought for a little bit longer, but we're okay. You still have to reclaim Suffer here with the Flash. Would be so nice if Suffer cleared stuns. Imagine if Suffer... Clear the stun, but then stunned yourself or, or whatever. I mean, it would stun you for the next round as well, so you'd probably just make yourself very, very vulnerable after that, but it would still be interesting. Definitely still be interesting. Or maybe just put that on Endure, so it's not such a shitty ability. That, uh, that could also work. So my characters are getting hopelessly stunned, so we're just gonna click them and kind of just take it from there, I guess. And yeah, I feel like a, a good stress team would be able to take this out, like a good protection stress team, but that's not what we have here. We have an anti-stress stress team. So I am gonna get hit with a puncture right now, I imagine. But after a puncture, it's only a 50-50 of getting the pull. Oh no, it's on the Abomination. Interesting. Well, that is gonna prevent Beast Vile, so it also makes sense to an extent. So we just click the stun characters and then we probably go for a heal if they go to this advanced or something of the like. What do they want to do? Maybe they just start going ham. No, I, should, I, feel, I believe they're going Vendetta first, so here they drop a Vendetta. We're just going to drop an immediate heal on this Abomination, because he's losing some of his HP. This is going to give him healing received, which is great, of course. Because if I want to drop a Reclaim, I'll be able to drop a Reclaim, and that's quite good. The biggest problem with my opponent's team here is that they don't actually have like any huge damage dealers, so there's no Arbalist. There is, there is High Man with Vendetta and Eagle Eye Talisman, so he's a decent damage dealer, but he's not the greatest. Like, if he gets a crit Wicked Slice, and yeah, sure, he might crit for like almost 30, but uh, he's, he's still not an Arbalist. Definitely still not an Arbalist. So here comes the Adder's Kiss. I can clear that. I can clear that, and um, I probably will, because, you know, I mean, why wouldn't you? Just clear that blight and make her action not quite so useful, I suppose. <laughs> Thankfully they don't have stress heals, so it's gonna be kinda difficult for them to break through us. It's also gonna be very difficult for them to stun my abomination at this point, because I have plus 50 and plus 20, so they really shouldn't get a stun on me. Even then, it's still a 55% chance of getting a stun. Or with um, with the vessel. It's only a 45 with the crusader, so I I would probably go for the stun on the abomination here again, but no, they just jump a wicked slice. So there's the crit 30 I was talking about. So what that means is I'm gonna have to drop a reclaim before I do anything else because you know just crit 30 wicked slice out of nowhere in in the butcher circus. Just butcher circus things, I guess. I do have plus healing received, so maybe that helps me a little bit, but only a little bit. Did I really fail the debuff on the crusader? Ah, okay. Okay, here comes Dazzling Light, focusing my flash on down, down now, it appears. And uh, I would like going for... Ooh, okay, wow, 5% stun resistance. Okay, we take those for sure. I should go for... Uh, there's a few things I can do. What I am going to do, though, is I'm going to... Wow, I'm going to crit 16 heal? That's wonderful. I'm going to transform and watch this. Instead of slamming my opponent, I'm gonna slam myself back to position 3. And why is that? Well, now I can't get stunned by the Crusaders, so that's quite good. If they wanna stun my Flagellant, so be it. Uh, I will probably just drop a guard here. They can drop a pierce, but, but a puncture, but then a puncture is not a, not a pierce, so... I will stay alive for, for a bit longer that way. And that's exactly what I'm gonna do. If they wanna drop a puncture on him, just so be it. They put him at lower amounts of HP, and he's, he's gonna be fine anyway. Puncture's gonna do like what three damage, so it's not gonna it's not gonna matter too much. It's not a crit a crit 18 pierce. 
So it is good for me. They have a lot of things they want to do right now. They want to stun my Abomination, they want to pull my Abomination, they want to pull my Musketeer. There's just a lot of actions that this Shieldbreaker has to do. And even though we haven't done too much to my opponent, eventually it's going to stack up, you know? The, the strengths we're doing here, it's going to stack up and we might be able to stay alive for long enough to just prevent them from getting uh, from getting too much on me. So we're going to heal ourselves here for a little bit again. We're healing for 8 instead of 6 because of the healing received and now here come the beast files. Hopefully 2 hits. Yes, 2 hits and 2 blights as well. Good. Would have loved the crit there but that's wishful thinking so uh, that's not happening here. Surprised they dropped um, the vendetta on my abomination. I, I guess they were just trying to do some damage. I feel like they should have dropped it on the Musketeer, or even on the Flagellant, honestly, because he's gonna have 30 dodge with Last Breath Color if I do end up dropping a bolster. So it's weird that they didn't do that. It is definitely quite weird. Are they going for Zealous here just to do some damage? Yes, they are. Smart play. That is, that is indeed hurting me quite a bit, but I could just drop a bolster here. It's a bit of a late bolster. Mm, yeah, let's do it anyway. It's gonna reduce the stress that they do. They might miss an ability from now on. Let's just do that. Just drop a, a, this kind of late bolster and just take it from there. They're gonna go for a judgment of all things. Does it do enough damage? No, it doesn't, but I still have to go for a heal. Oh, they get to go first next round. This is actually quite rough that they get to go first next round because they have their action here. So I should have plus healing received because of the last breath color. So I actually healed for 17, which isn't too bad. But between this Wicked Slice and me dropping down to 0 HP here, they're probably going to get a death blow chance. Or, yeah, that's the crit, so they're, they're going to get a death blow chance, sadly. But, you know, I do have a lot of death blow resistance here, so I might resist it. Emphasis on might. Oh, God. Yeah, this is already looking rough. If they kill my Flagellant, it's definitely over, I, I feel. I don't, think, I don't see how I'm going to kill two stun characters after that. But if I stay alive, I'll be quite happy. Yeah, with my flagellant gone, I'm probably losing this already. Oh man, that's so sad. That is so sad. All he had to do was resist one death blow, but this is just a shield breaker match of so I can't guard, I can't really do anything. It's it really it really is quite sucky. This is just immortal team gameplay. Sometimes it works really well, sometimes it really doesn't. I feel like I'm gonna surrender already. If they if they get like a, a puncture and it's pulls my musketeer then I'll just surrender because I, I don't have enough pressure on them to win this. They're just gonna stun me and stun me and just crit me and uh, just prevent me from doing anything with my mana arms. It doesn't really matter that you have this amount of stun resistance. They drop another kiss here which is interesting I guess. Uh, makes me want to keep playing. Uh, do I drop a ranging shot here? I kind of need the accuracy to just hit them so I'm gonna do this. I do get the stress heal which is lucky. I played the match yesterday and I was going for ranging shots. I did six ranging shots in eight rounds. I only got the stress heal on three of them. So my opponent got a 15% three times in a row or whatever. It was really, really quite annoying. So yeah, I am getting stunned here. I do hit a pass on it, but I will keep playing for a bit. No, no, not for very long. Probably a bit. Maybe if they just start getting very unlucky with their stuff or whatever. Because they definitely can't stun my men at arms right now as the corpse is still there. They don't really have any good targets with that Crusader. So that's definitely helping me out a bunch here. Maybe double crit? I miss regardless. Ah, uh, I don't know. If only my flagellant is alive, I could I could have really stabilized this. Because he would be full HP. All my characters would be in the fine, in the great positions. They, they would, my opponents would be at 40 stress on everyone. What was the chance they got the death blow? It was a... 60, wait, 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 it was a, a 70 minus like 17, so it, oh, it was probably like a 50 30, something like that. Yeah, really quite sad that they, that they did get it. So they're gonna go for a pierce here, I'm just gonna drop a heal, but uh, I don't wanna surrender because this is the end of the best of three, right? <laughs> I don't wanna surrender. I'll, I'll keep playing, I don't know, maybe they get afflictions. <laughs> maybe they get afflictions and things just go really, really poorly for them. That's what I have to hope for here. You're gonna stun my abomination. Maybe a crit repost. Yeah, that's what I need. I need crit repost everywhere. They're thinking so much on how they want to break through this. Like, it's like, come on, Chef, just surrender. I, I already killed your flagellant. You can't win this anymore. Yeah, you can't win this anymore, he thinks. Uh, here comes another stun on my abom. And another repost for six this time. I do not get the blight, though. That's sad. My prot is going away. 
which is not very good, but I'll do this and just get the debuffs. I buffed accuracy, why am I not hitting this dang shieldbreaker? Damn. Yeah, wrenching shot is kind of like pseudo accuracy buff. If it's not 20, it's not an accuracy buff, it's just pseudo accuracy. So here comes the duelist advance, now they're gonna have a pass on me. If they get a big holy lance on there, like dropping me down to two, I'll just surrender. Are they gonna go holy lance? It's 14. Let's keep playing, let's keep playing, just for a bit longer. Let's do this, they're getting quite close to afflictions, so that's good. Oh my god, if my flatulent stayed alive, I never would have lost this. Dang, stupid little flatulent. Stupid little flatulent. I'm not sure if I did anything wrong, there was just nothing I could have done, honestly. I healed him, I went for the guards, I went for the, the safer plays, but the higher man just did way too much damage. He's not too big of a damage deal, but against characters with only 10 prot and no guards and all that, it's it's still enough. So yeah, here I'm just gonna drop a heal, but after that, if their duelist advance does enough damage, which it probably will, it's just it's just GG, because then they have Holy Lands, they have all the shenanigans, and they're not gonna be able to win this. So GG to Salak, he definitely played this well with quite some interesting teams. Hope y'all enjoyed today's episode, and I hope y'all enjoyed that, boy. Tomorrow we are gonna have something else. I already forgot what it was, but there was a suggestion that really, really sounded quite cool, so definitely stay tuned for tomorrow's video, and I'll see you again tomorrow. Cheers.